Alrighty, so it is day two through two. Xbox in hand. Yes, it's a Sports Direct bag, but it's in there. It's in there. Uh, headed off. Ooh, get my phone back in a comfortable position. Uh, heading into work. Um, hopefully, I haven't missed the bus. Because that's always a fucking bitch. <laughs> um, headed into work, and then uh, once I get there, gonna get the ball rolling on trading this shit in so it can be tested and shit while I work. Uh, and then we'll see where it goes from there because usual deal by now I don't really record past this point until I have to work so I guess we'll see when the next update how that went um, so yeah I'll catch you in a bit actually do you know what no fuck it no, I'm not heading home from work. I am still trying to get to work, but I now have yet another bone to pick with Newport fucking transport. Oh, god damn, the amount of shit that I am so fucking tired of. And this may seem like I'm always complaining about convenience of buses, but here's the thing, right? When you cancel, like completely cancel one bus that goes twice every hour and then also make it so the only two buses in the area go at exactly the same time uh, through where I live that then immediately makes it so I have every fucking right to complain about the inconvenience you cause especially when you justified it with trying to be convenient and saying you wanted to provide more service for the customers because that's precisely what you didn't fucking do right and, uh, and it gets better, because with the buses, you never know if they're early, you never know if they're late. Sometimes they do go well before the time they're meant to, and then you can be sitting around like a fucking dickhole waiting for a bus that just isn't going to come for another hour because it's already been. And then you've got the times like today, where you're there, you wait like a good 15 minutes after it's meant to go past, and you're like, well, what the fuck's going on? Uh, and you're stood there like a tit. You think, okay, the bus is gone, so you start walking. And then when you're halfway between the bus stop and where you're gonna get picked up by a taxi, the bus drives past you in an area where it, it's not gonna stop. And frankly, that's bullshit, that the bus goes past 20 minutes late. And I, you know, there's nothing I can fucking do about it, but I can't risk being late for work, so I have to call a taxi. Which means I'm nine pounds out of pocket because they can't be fucked to A, be on time, and B, um, just have a system that, while making it really fucking inconvenient for everyone that lives in the middle of nowhere that actually needs the buses, uh, you know, you don't have a way of making it easier for us to know what the fuck is going on. Now here's the thing, we have, um, if you're in the city, the newer bus stops, right, they have displays in them that let you know the times the buses are meant to run. But even these are bullshit, because they don't actually keep you up to date really on when the buses are or are not late. <sighs> and then where I live, you're fucking lucky, right? If your bus stop has three walls. I mean, sure, like, it doesn't have to have three walls, but bear in mind, I live in Wales where it's exceptionally windy most of the time and also pretty fucking moist most of the time because it rains a lot. So it would be nice if you provided a bus shower that actually sheltered. Just saying. Um, but anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting to the point here. If you could have those displays, right, on every bus stop, that would be grand. And then take it one step deeper. And fucking, right, just have a system that A, all of the boards are connected to your base, right? Um, I don't give a shit how you do it, if it has to be some form of Wi Fi or whatever. Well, it wouldn't be Wi-Fi, but some form of data chip that's just allowing it to send, um, even if it's just fucking like every minute, an update back to base to let them know, yes, a bus turned up, or yes, a bus didn't. Like, we've got shit like NFC readers, and fuck it, like the new iPhone update, when you go out for a drive, you park your car, and your phone disconnects from your car's Bluetooth because it's powered down, it fucking sets a geo pin in that location, so if you forget where you parked, you can just look at your phone and it'll go, oh, by the way, there's your fucking car. So how can we have that and then not have it so buses can 
as it passes each bus stop, let them know, yeah, the bus is running on time, or no, the bus is late, and then they can put on displays in all the other bus stops where you fucking stand. Because, like, days like today, where I've been thoroughly dicked over, uh, would be great to know that the bus is running late, and I can just stay there, and it'll be fine. But no, they have to fuck me over. Oh, there's a 73 going the other way. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> so, yeah. That, I would say marginally annoys me, but it's more than marginally. It's a fucking farce. Uh, it's just so, so annoying. Just sort your shit out, Newport Transport. Like, you've made it unnecessarily difficult to get around for the people that need public transport. People who live in the fucking city don't need seven buses in an hour. They can fucking walk. End off. Or, they can wait a bit longer than every fucking five, ten minutes, you know? Whereas us, with one bus an hour, it's a fucking joke. Sort your shit out. It's not cool. Alrighty, so, heading home, back on the lane. Oh, Jesus, whoops. Um, with one, oh, gee, but nearly flew in my face. Uh, one sexy gear support two terabyte in hand. It was okay. I only ended up having to pay after, like, all of the stuff that I'd saved um, over time from purchases, like a game reward points, and then um, a couple of pre-orders I'd ended up picking up, and the trade-in of my old one, I paid £14.40 <laughs> for a £400 console. So I think that was a, a pretty good deal. I'll take that. Um, so I gotta get that home, get that shit set up, so more on that later. Um, it was a fucking, like Oculus is, is pretty chilled, because essentially I get paid, to take people through trying out VR for the first time. One at a time, that's it. You know, that's not a crazy job. But then I go from that and then I've got an hour on either side where I'm meant to work with the store and the store is fucking just all over the place right now. Like tonight they're doing the midnight launch for Mafia 3, which is, it's gonna be fucking cool. Like they've partnered up with 2K, they're turning the store into a casino. Or it's just wicked, there's gonna be blackjack, roulette and a bar and shit and that's fucking cool, but it just means there's a lot of work to completely rehash the store tonight, ready for that, and then rejig it again by the end of the night, ready to have the store running as normal tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. But uh, yeah, for now, as exciting as it gets, I'm gonna do the last bit of the walk home, and then it's Gears console time, so I'll, I'll see you in a bit, because this is fucking exciting shit. This is weird. I've had to put my flash on because it's not loading up the console those, but holy shit, look at this thing you got your controller which is sexy as fuck you got your console which is sexy as fuck and then you've got me not sexy as fuck and managed to fall asleep and forget to film for most of the night and then woke up like part way through the night so good job me um but i'm kind of tired and i want to go to sleep so um, I'm pretty much just going to round up for now. The console's fucking awesome. I'll probably talk about it more tomorrow. But for now, if you're watching this, I hope you've had a good day. Um, I've had a pretty good day. <laughs> um, and I'll catch you tomorrow for another vlog. But until then, peace out. Have fun. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Doodle.